Good morning, YouTubers. This morning's video slash weekend video is going to be focused on two projects. One, I'm finally getting around to putting the oak boards on each side of the rip fence. Or at least we'll be starting that process. And then the second project, a little more involved in fabrication and creativity, has to do with that little lock down there. And I will give you a close up here in a second. So this bad boy is both good and bad. Uh, it's very similar to the little yellow lock that you see you pull out of the key for other craftsman devices. So this is pre-yellow key uh, technology. So when it's in the unlocked position, you can turn this off on and off. And when it's in the locked position, and this key is so easy to lose, you can't, can't turn the saw on. So I've seen these face plates because in back of here uh, with these two rivets is this particular lock function. And what I've seen is a lot of folks bypass those. And the reason, well, twofold, one, lose the key, lose the functionality, and uh, you've got some issues. The second is when you're standing and working with a large piece of wood, you know, sheet of plywood or whatever, um, being on top of the saw on the table and then having to reach under the saw to flick this off is a little uh, challenging and cumbersome at best. So we have a solution for that. And that solution is something I've seen online that a number of other people do. And our friends at the Rainforest sent us a couple of wonderful things. I think I overdid it with... Uh, with what I'm going to fabricate. So this is quarter inch by four by 12. And uh, in hindsight, I probably could have gone a lot thinner, but it was cheaper than going to the big box shop down the street for something that was fractionally thick. And our friends overseas make this particular device and we'll see how close it looks to what it looked like online. Yeah, it looks pretty close. So this is going to be so this will be mounted to this. I don't know if I'm going to trim this down and make it uh, smaller or leave it this big and then this will be mounted to the pre uh, to the saw frame and I'll show you probably where I'm going to mount that. So there's a couple of holes. I don't know if you can see them. Right here. And what I'll probably do is mount this plate or not <laughs> maybe in the front I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna mount it but the idea is to mount the plate to the table and then mount the switch to the plate well, I wonder if that's strong enough all by itself hmm We'll have to figure something, something out. But again, the idea is to have this about here. And I know I'm going to have to lower it in order to clear the fence. So the idea is to have it here. And these cables are meant to bypass this particular power cable. So the motor actually has its own cable power cable that I will tie into the box. I don't know if the box cable is long enough. I'm going to have to do some, uh, some changes there, but uh, that's the idea. So once I have cut this to size, I'll probably uh, powder coat it instead of paint. 
mount it and uh, see what happens. So that's this weekend's project list. We'll see how things go. All right, I thought it would be a good idea to test things before I went and did all my fabrication efforts. So uh, I've clamped this on, I've wired it up, and this is the very first time. So when I hit that green button, I hope to hear my saw spin up. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Love it. All right, we're in business. Time to fabricate. And there is the plate. The two mounting holes for the extension, which fit this hardware. And uh, this was the hardware to mount the actual box. So it's, it'll get sanded, cleaned, and powder coated. And then uh, I'm guessing, uh, I, don't, I think you've seen my powder coating videos from a year or two ago. So we'll just show the finished product. Here it is mounted on the fabricated or what's left of the 4x12, 4 4 inch by 12 inch, quarter inch plate. So I trim that down. I'll show you the plate without the uh, attachment. So I've mocked up, uh, well it's not mocked up, it's, it's there. Uh, you saw how this works and then I've also test fit those. So I would say it's been a productive day. And the next thing to do is powder coat this back mm, might not be today it's been a long productive day with many projects and we are off tripod i love my compressor part of the harbor freight low-end powder coating system uh, in one bin i keep my oven and then in the other bin i keep all of the powder coating materials and equipment again and here is my oven and my flat black mat or black mat powder. Looking pretty good. It, uh, it coated decent. We're a little hotter than we should be according to the thermometer, but that's okay. We've got about another 15 minutes. total hack solution. So what I do is I take my cooking rack, that little blue thing, and I clamp it to my ladder and then I spray and then transfer it over as a whole because trying to hook that, especially this piece which barely fits, so glad I sized it the way I did. All right, we'll come back later after it's done. All right, looking pretty good. About done baking. Decent coat. Good enough. Better than paint. Ready to use. All right, this is, uh, we'll call this finished finished. This is sturdy enough that I can move the saw around by pulling on this back plate. I ended up going with carriage bolts. I didn't like the uh, first bolt selection. I didn't feel it locked in enough and I didn't want to put a washer here. So I uh, blued some carriage bolts and uh, that was a solution. A little bit longer too, easier to work with, so I've got room for plenty of uh, washer in the back as well as uh, split lock rings. And then of course the nut, rebalancing everything. Everything clears, nice and smooth. And uh, the true test, let me pull the camera up a little so you can see the blade. Whoops. Maybe I should plug things in underneath. All right, things will probably work better now that there's power. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a whole lot. That was, uh, that was a good addition. And the... Uh, and the oak boards will finish off and give it a nice touch. So 
still a bit more to come. Maybe a little better view of the uh, side back plate and hardware that went into and then cut this bolt, uh, excuse me, cut the end of the uh, little mini bolt off so nothing would catch or uh, cut, it's probably a better word. But I like how uh, the mat and the mat match, <laughs> mat, mat, match. And uh, that, and then there's power. So yeah, that uh, is a close up of uh, what I did with the carriage bolts. And then locking that screw is bolt, nut and bolt, a little harder to get to because of what's in the way here, but manageable. All right, upgrades are complete and this project we're gonna say is now done. So we have the new power switch, 1950s meets 2020s. We have the uh, oak fence guard, I guess, enhancement. And then on each of the end table wings, I have uh, applied additional steel tape. I'll do a close-up walk around, but uh, that is it. All right, so you've seen this with what I did on the carriage bolts. Here is the oak board work for the fence. There was a bow in the wood, uh, which is no longer there. These are on there pretty tight. Uh, obviously cut to size and then rounded so that uh, no sharp edges and everything glides easily and then uh, for the tape additional steel tape that's it